Hey, what's going on guys? I am George and this is You Wanna Watch. Welcome back to another Sunday flea market haul. Hope you enjoyed what I got. Let's get right into it. Let's go. All right guys, well I say we jump right into this. First, got a three-in-one oil bottle. This is, uh, I don't know, a couple of ounces, maybe two ounces, something like that. Tiny little feller. Uh, the wife found it. I, I think she paid a couple of bucks for it. I did throw a clear coat on here um, just to try and preserve it because as you can see right here, the labels want to come off. So I did I did what I could to try and save it, but I got to try and save stuff like this. This is awesome. Uh, next, a dollar. Got a Craftsman number one Phillips screwdriver. I see these. I pick them up. This is the third one I think I've seen in a couple of years, so I don't see those too often. They're red-handled ones. Got this beautiful drill, it's ratcheting style. Um, this thing is sweet. It really is. So I think this will make a really good restoration. Got steel, and then boom, brass, and then boom, mahogany. Looks like it's mahogany. And then a brass screw on the back. So I think this will make a really nice restoration. I can't wait to get in get into this. Uh, I couldn't see a name on here. All I can see is Philadelphia. So um, whenever I do the restoration, I'll, I'll figure it out. Got this awesome little beer opener, bottle opener. Um, also ice hammer and ice break. Uh, I looked this up and this is quite valuable. Um, I paid five bucks for this and uh, yeah, I'm stoked to have it. Uh, five bucks. I got this alligator wrench right here. This thing's pretty cool. Uh, I can't really read anything because somebody painted it silver. Um, but when I do the restoration on this, of course, you know, I'll let out all of the de details about it. Then I got another alligator. This is uh, Roebling from Trenton, New Jersey. Um, David from West Highland Shop sent me a huge one, man. It's like 14 inches. So now I got a 14 and I don't know, what's this, maybe 10? Let's see, eight, yeah, about 10 inch. So pretty cool. Excited about that. Slide this down, get this out of the way. Uh, up next, got this sweet little soldering gun, literally a soldering gun. Kadow, kadow, kadow. Let, me, let me plug this in, Let's see what happens. Ooh, that was scary. I don't, I don't feel anything yet, maybe it takes a little while. Oh hey, look at that, it's got a light on the end of it. That is nifty. Huh. Oh yeah, it's starting to heat up, good. Yep, cool. Got a working soldering gun, literally a gun. Oh. So, that's pretty cool. Who knew? Uh, I got a pack of needle files. Um, the box is completely trashed. These are Nicholson's. Um, I don't think saving the box is going to be worth it, but I got a whole variety of little tiny needle files. So that's pretty cool. Paid a buck for those. Uh, $10. This little box right here. This is pretty cool because I've actually been looking for these. It's made by KD and it's a bushing remover and inserting so that is awesome can't believe I finally found it and I paid 10 bucks for it so quite stoked about that awesome awesome deal uh, another 10 bucks got this box right here and uh, I actually picked this up for my middle son he does a lot of electronic work and uh, it's a little soldering kit there's some real thin solder in here that would be perfect for his electronics um, and two little soldering guns. 
like that, but uh, it also has some real cool vintage paste cans, which I think are awesome. So I'll clean this stuff up. I'll take out whatever's, you know, like 50 50, something like that, that he shouldn't even have, and uh, get rid of that stuff. And uh, he'll have his own little soldering kit, which I'm quite happy about. Uh, next, this is a dollar right here, guys. I don't know if you guys know anything about Handy Andy tool sets, but uh, they were all the rage back in the day. Um, I found some bits and pieces to a Handy Andy set. I got a slotted and Phillips screwdriver, got a chisel. Got the level, it's pretty cool. Got the handle to the hammer, no head to it, but the handle's there. I got the plane, cute little sucker, look at that. It's missing the iron, um, but that's okay because you can just use whatever kind of carbon steel for making your own. And a slip joint plier. So, that is awesome. Quite happy to have found that. And uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, this was a freebie. It's all stained up and moldy looking, but I'm going to throw this in the wash, get it all cleaned up, and make another tool roll out of these nail pouches. So, like I said, quite happy about that. Especially for the price. <laughs> Uh, five dollars. I got six vintage hats. Uh, this one's a Budweiser. Got a Snap On Racing. Got uh, Texaco Racing. It'd be like Ernie Irving. Uh, a You Piss Me Off hat, trucker style. It's pretty funny. I got Big Vic's favorite right here, uh, Jeff Gordon. That's pretty cool. And I got a Ricky Rudd. So, quite excited about that. Not a bad deal, not a bad deal at all. Oh, let's see. What else do we got? Oh. This is $5 of awesomeness right here. Yes, it's just a plastic tote full of hardware. But. The hardware that's in here are these tapered screws that are perfect for vice jaw replacement. Um, I'm quite happy about that. They are all Allen keyed. Um, but I got one, two, three, four, five. I got six bins full of them. And the rest of it's a bunch of stainless. And uh, there's a couple of weird things in here. I don't know what that is, but that's in there you know just weird hard hardware stuff but quite happy to have this and uh, specifically for these right here because these are getting harder and harder to find um, yeah quite happy about that so that's that one next oh! this was eight dollars Kind of hard to get it all in the camera view here. Let me whoop. Sorry about that. This is eight bucks. And this is completely full of hardware as well. Um, there's nuts, bolts, all sorts of stuff in these. I'll go through these and figure out what I'm going to keep and what I'm not. And uh, it's, it does have missing drawers. I, I know, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. Not for what I'm going to use it for, so. And, oh, the piece of resistance, I don't know if I can even get this thing into camera view, but I paid $10 for the coolest, coolest lawnmower in the world. Look at that, man. 
She's a two-stroke. It's a Craftsman. Uh, there is a data plate on the back. I haven't gone through it yet. Um, the engine's locked up. Engine is definitely locked up. But I'll pop that off. I'll put some Marvel in there and uh, just let it sit all winter long. And uh, we'll get this thing freed up and fired up for spring. Um, I'm quite, quite excited about this, to be honest with you. I have uh, visions of grandeur with this thing. Um, I kind of want to do it up proper like. Yep, so that's that. Alrighty guys, well we are all done with this one. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. Don't forget to put in the comment section what you think the best find of today was. Me personally, I think the Craftsman mower is righteous. It's up there. But I do like the bushing uh, setter and puller. That's pretty cool too. Oh, and the six shooter little soldering gun. That thing's pretty, pretty awesome. So, alright guys, like always, stay safe, be safe. We'll see you next week with another. Bye.